I never really thought much of Festool until I bought this vacuum and it changed how I work. Hey guys, I'm Brad with Skyline Construction and today we're going to be taking a look at my Festool vacuum. This is the CT26, I believe, B. <laughs> and these things are amazing. This is a HEPA vac and you know, I never, I never really thought much of Festool until I bought this vacuum and it changed how I work. Um, number one, the hose connects to all my tools from the chop saws to skill saws, grinders, you name it, it connects. It's just a, a nice rubber connection and it just depresses into, you know, the holes of, of any tool. So it, it works amazing. Um, and then because this is a HEPA vac, I mean, that's a huge plus, right? And the suction on these things are great. I don't use these vacuums for cleaning up job sites. I typically use, say, a rigid vacuum with a, a larger hole, um, with a larger orifice, I should say. Um, but for dust collection, these things are amazing. So let's take a closer look at it. I bought the, uh, the little cleanup kit, which comes with these three attachments. And this vacuum didn't come with the new style hoses. So I had to go out and buy the new style. This one came with like the, uh, the older style where it was rigid and it would catch on everything. But these new hoses are the best. So this end just slips in here like this. And then this part of the hose, as you can see, is rubber. It's got some flex to it and it just slips in all these and they lock in place. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't use these for, for cleaning up lots of dust or debris just because it is a, such a small hole. Now the operation of these vacuums, if you want to come in here, um, you plug your, your main tool in here. Let's say you're cutting with a, a skill saw. For example, the Makita track saw that we just did a, a review on. Um, cutting hardy panel if you want to check that out but you plug your saw into this and you set it to auto so when you turn on your tool it'll turn on the vacuum and then when you stop cutting the vacuum will still suck for a second or two so you're getting any of that last little bit of debris um, there's also a knob here for the amount of suction so if we just turn it on main or manual, sorry. Um, you can adjust, it's a variable speed essentially. So you can operate it both ways. You can do it manual or you can just put on auto, which is for your plug. Um, and then next is the filter itself. So. On the sides, it's got two latches. And this lid just lifts off. And then you've got your bag, which you have to use. You have to have these bags. And there's a couple options out there for bags. Uh, there's the disposable ones, and then there's the ones that you can open up and dump the dust out. This one here is a disposable one, but we've been, you know, kind of using it as a, we just dump the dust out because they are kind of pricey. So you don't want to just be throwing them out all the time. And then this is the HEPA filter itself in here. So to pull them out, and these are interchangeable. If, if they uh, get too dirty, just pop it out like this. Then your filter comes out of this cartridge. Like, so then you can just buy a new filter and then stick it back in here. Oh. Lock it in place just like that. So that's, that's all there is. It's a pretty simple system, but these vacuums are the best. So if you're ever working indoors, you're like a finisher, or you're doing drywall, you're doing a lot of sanding, highly recommend these. If you're just into demolition, 
that type of cleanup. I probably wouldn't recommend this just because the type of stuff you're cleaning up is, is larger. But definitely for that fine particle dust, you know, concrete, uh, MDF, uh, cement board, things like that. Such a great vacuum to have. And again, this is the CT26E. So it's a little bit older model. They have a ton of different models out now, the minis, and I think there's even larger models than this. Um, and I might actually have to get myself a mini this year just because they are so handy to have. On top, I should mention, uh, if you're into Festool, the sustainers actually click in to the top. So a sustainer, that's those toolboxes. And they click in and then they lock in place. And then in the sustainer, you can either keep your tools or you could have vacuum storage. You could keep extra filters, uh, extra vacuum bags. They have the uh, Cyclone that they just came out with that can hook onto the top of this. So great thing to have, you know, you can just roll up. This is like a rolling cart. So you can have all your sustainers on top and roll into the job site. You've got your vacuum and all your tools and, and you're good to go. And then on the back, we have just our, our cord storage right here on the back. So it's nice and compact and clean lines and just all around great vacuum. All right, guys. So I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, leave us a comment and hit that notify bell and all that good stuff. And until next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.